everybody, Jessica Henry Gray here, and I just wanted to come on here today and take a few minutes of your time and just talk about some things that are close to my heart. I won't be doing a painting lesson today, but I do want to talk about um, another lesson. <laughs> um, I think that pretty much everyone that I encounter, whether it's through YouTube or social media, there's so much anxiety in the world, and um, I'm noticing people are seem to be fighting more, there's tension, there's stress, and um, I, I personally am no stranger to that either, you know. Um, we end up getting depressed, and I think as artists, we tend to feel tension very deeply, and I know that a lot of people who may not paint still have that artist spirit, and um, I just really want to encourage you today. I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about that, and what I have done in my life to sort through some of these issues. <laughs> uh, many of you know that I fight cancer, I'm dealing with this cancer situation, and you know, instead of letting it get me down, you can turn it around and use it for something positive. When I found out five years ago that I had stage four cancer, um, I started pouring myself into painting, and um, especially plein air. I've been plein air painting much longer than that, but that was when I think there was a major turning point when I decided, I am not going to have a bad attitude about this. Um, life is special, it's sacred, every day counts. And so what I did is I started just doing more and more plein air painting and you know, I'm out in the wilderness and let me tell you, once, once you get out here and you may not have any idea what you're going to paint, but you sit down and you absorb all of this beauty and nature and the sounds and the summer bugs and birds that gets in your soul and whether you ever put a mark on that paper or canvas it almost doesn't even matter because what it's all about is finding peace and so for me plein air painting has been i love the challenge um when i first started doing it it was all about i'm terrible at this i have to get better i want to get better <laughs> and so you know i took classes and i studied and um, I'd already been painting in the studio for about 20 some years and so um, the more you keep going at things the more positivity you draw to yourself and um, so you know if you're just starting if you've never done it before um, you're thinking about doing it or you have started and maybe you are struggling <laughs> or not um, I really want to encourage you to just get out and do it more don't worry about it being perfect they make more canvas make more paper it's not about creating a photo copy, a camera of the scene before you. It is about translating by means of selection that thing that inspired you about that scene, okay? You are the poet on that canvas and you can make that world whatever you want. There's only one you and you have a unique voice. So that is what I wanna encourage you with today. Just to take these words as you deal with life sitting in traffic, whatever, um, you have it in you to do this. You can go out and you can plein air and you can make beautiful art. And I wanna encourage you to do that. I also wanted to tell you, in light of that, I, I've put together a workshop. I think it's for specifically for this time. Um, I've made it super affordable because I think with 40 million people here in the US unemployed, people I have to be able to afford to fly to Oregon I've got a business trip and I thought you know what? I'm gonna squeeze in a workshop let's do it as cheap as possible two days and two hundred dollars but this one is designed specifically for people who are maybe they're struggling or they um, they've started on the journey of plein air and they kind of get to a scene like this not know what to do so I really want to take um, those matters and boil them down to efficiency, values, atmosphere, just keeping it basic. And um, I really believe everyone can do this. The workshop um, is for October 2nd and 3rd of 2020. Uh, we'll have all kinds of precautions, masks, distancing, and, and all of that. So um, we've got all of, all of that worked out and I think it'll be great. And anyway, we've already got, I'm only allowing 10 in the workshop just because I think we can only have groups of 10 or more um, so there's already two booked so um, there's about eight more spots anyway um, I just want to tell you about that and for those who can't make it to that or who don't want to fly 
I do, I'm going to be having some Zoom classes, a couple of classes again this fall, um, just online. And um, they will be, uh, the first one is going to be with the idea of taking you from a landscape painting in the studio to plein air. So we're not gonna do plein air, but I'm, it'll be a landscape from a photo and I'll talk primarily about plein air painting and how to work that when you're out in all the elements. The second Zoom class I'm gonna be doing is on portraiture. And so I will have a photo and I will give you the PDF of the photo. And if you want to follow along step by step, you can. And then the next day of every, um, it'll be a three day workshop for each of them. The next day, email me what you've done and I'll critique it. And we'll have um, just great camaraderie and I'm looking forward to those as well. So all of that to say, um, get out there, get painting, do something, sketch, watercolor, get yourself, if you don't have anything, a little set of eight praying watercolors, whatever, whatever it takes. Just find that sense of balance and peace. All right, you guys, that is it. I'm not going to take up much more of your time. Stay safe and be careful and stay positive. All right, bye-bye.